Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Mood Six One Six here, and I'm just in the in the film room right now. And I was, you know, putting my shit into order, uh, my DVDs in order, because I'm gonna be starting on my shelf by shelf here probably soon. Uh, once I get this finished, once I figure out some more time to actually finish it up. Uh, but I thought maybe I'd just go over the uh, the Blu-ray releases of or the Blu-ray Redemption releases up to date since they don't have any new releases coming out until like the middle of August so uh, they got three more coming out but this is what they've released so far up to date and I'll just give them my brief thoughts on this I'll try to keep the video short but uh, first up is a Gene Rowland film called The Nude Vampire um, excellent atmospheric uh, vampire film. Um, I highly recommend pretty much any Gene Rowland film that's in here. So, yeah, that's uh, the nude vampire. Uh, next up here is the Shiver of the Vampires. Uh, this is a really cool film too. Very atmospheric. Like every Gene Rowland film, I'll probably say that word like a hundred times in there. Uh, next up is the Iron Rose. Probably my favorite. Gene Rowland film. I absolutely fucking love the setting in this film. The atmosphere is so ridiculous. Uh, just a very cool film. Like It takes place all in a cemetery and it's just really weird. Uh, next up is Lips of Blood. A very bizarre film by Gene Rowland. Um, yeah, love it. Great film. Uh, next up is Fascination. This is like a I don't know if you can fully classify this as like a vampire film, more of like a just lust for blood, but very interesting film starring, uh, I always forget her fucking name, uh, Bridget Leahy, or however you pronounce it, she was actually a French porn star back in the day. Uh, next up is a film by Alan uh, Birkinshaw called Killer's Moon. This is kind of a, you know, a, basically a slasher film. Uh, very fun, very enjoyed it. I would recommend that one. Uh, Virgin Witch. Now, this movie has so much fucking nudity in it. It's just ridiculous. Uh, fun, though. I, I, I recommend that. The Asphix. Most people know about this one. Fucking awesome film. Really love this one. Uh, next up is uh, Justine. Or Marky de Sade's Justine. Uh, this is The Misfortunes of Virtue. Um, this is a really fucking good movie. I really enjoyed this one, too. Very atmospheric. Uh, next up is Gene Rowland's first film, The Rape of the Vampire. Uh, this is a black and white film, and it is just brilliant. Very brilliant from 68, I believe. 67, 68, something like that. Uh, next up is another Rowland film called Requiem for, the Vamp for a Vampire. Uh, another really just excellent film. Fucking love this one. Uh, the Demoniacs. Uh, by Gene Rowland, the unrated extended cut. This is fantastic. Love this film. Great atmosphere. Just bizarre. Uh, next up is the Blood Beach, Blood Beast Terror. Um, I've actually still yet to watch this one, so that's one of the ones I have not watched yet. Uh, next up is Burke and Hare. Uh, this is kind of like a comical, um, you know, version of the you know the morbid Burke and Hare story about the the grave robbers. Um, basically selling off bodies to get some cash and stuff. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Black Magic Rights. This is probably the only Redemption release I have yet to actually enjoy. Uh, this one was really bizarre. It had pretty cool, I guess, atmosphere going on in it. But you know what? Overall, it was just weird and didn't really make a lot of sense. And But, yeah, it fell flat, though. Next up is A Living Dead Girl. This is kind of like a... It's like a zombie vampire film. It's really fucking weird. Uh, probably the goriest out of all the Gene Rowland films, to be honest, but I highly recommend this one. Very cool film. Uh, another Ro Gene Rowland film, Two Orphan Vampires. Uh, excellent. Excellent film. Love this one. Uh, Mario Bava's Hatchet for the Honeymoon. Uh, fun. I mean, I'm a huge Mario Bava fan. I've really not like or disliked anything that he's done, so... But, uh, yeah, this one's a very cool film. Uh, next up is Gene Rowland's Zombie Lake. Just a fucking cheesy-ass, really low-budget fucking zombie film by Gene Rowland. Um, if this is one of the only Gene Rowland films you've ever seen, don't judge it by this, because his vampire films, his older films, are nothing like this one. Uh, this is fun, though. I enjoy it. It's for what it is. Uh, Jess Franco's Oasis of the Zombies. 
Um, not really the best zombie film in the world, but I highly enjoy it, though, for what it is. You know, I wish there was more zombie action in that one, to be honest. Uh, Jess Franco's Female Vampire. This is an excellent film. Um, yeah, and it's got the alternate version of Erotic Kill on here, too, which is very cool. Uh, Jess Franco's Exorcism. Uh, this is also includes the alternate version of um, Demoniac. Very, very fucking great. Jess Franco's always hit and miss, but the ones that they're putting on Redemption are really good films. In my opinion, of course, um, Pete Walker film, House of Whipcord. Fucking fantastic. Love Pete Walker. I wish they'd put the rest of them out on Blu-ray, too. Uh, another Pete Walker film, uh, Schizo. Uh, this is a very cool slasher film. Fucking love it. Uh, Die, Screaming Marianne. Um, this one's pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like say this is like probably, you know, like this isn't like the craziest movie ever, but you know, it's probably like probably my least favorite out of the uh, Pete Walker films. Uh, next up is the comeback. Love this movie. Not too keen on this cover art though, to be honest. Uh, but very, very cool film about a guy that's trying to make a comeback in the music business, and some shit goes down. Uh, very cool film though. Very cool film. Uh, Night of the Hunted, another Gene Rowland film starring. Um, her again. <laughs> Can never say her name properly. Uh, Night of the Hunted. This is um, probably my one of my least favorite Gene Rowland films, but I still really do enjoy it. It's it's got a really weird premise about this girl at the beginning of the film is found. She has like really no memory of where she's from. She's basically escaped like this this facility where they're doing tests on these these people that have been infected by you know some shit. So I don't know. It, it's it's interesting, but it's not the greatest. Uh, next up is Grapes of Death. Uh, this is probably, I mean, this is right up there with Iron Rose for me, for my favorite Gene Rowland film. This is fucking amazing. Love this movie about uh, people that are getting infected by this wine and shit. Very, very fucking cool film. Uh, next up is a Sergio Greco film called The Sinful Nuns of St. Valentine. Uh, this one had a lot of promise. Uh, Nunsploitation films are very hit and miss with me. Um, this one was pretty much no exception. I was kind of, you know, I liked it and I didn't like it. And I, I found it kind of, kind of dragged on towards the end. It wasn't really the greatest, but it was still enjoyable for what it was. And next up is Enzo G. Cassarelli's Cold Eyes, Cold Eyes of Fear. I love Enzo G. Cassarelli. He's done really fucking cool films. Um, I know Blue Underground's released quite a few of his films. But uh, this is... Um, Kind of an interesting film. It kind of takes place like all in a house uh, about these guys that are basically showing up to rob um, these other people. Like I said, I'm not going to get into the plots of these films, but uh, it, it's it's decent. It's not the greatest uh, Cazzarelli, Cazzarelli film, but for what it is, it was still enjoyable. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that's the Redemption releases. Uh, they, of course, are all numbered here. You'll see them, but you'll see number 13 is missing. That is because the the owner of Redemption is apparently superstitious and is still waiting to find the right film to put out as number 13. So you got... They're all the way to number 31. And I know there's three more coming out, and I believe that they are all Jess Franco films. I believe so. Which is very cool. Uh, this is not the home for these Blu-rays. This is just on an empty shelf right now where I've got... DVDs stacked up everywhere, which I'm still trying to get into order, but I thought I'd do this film, or this film, yeah, that's what we're calling this, uh, do this video just quickly if you're interested in the Redemption line like I am. I really, really enjoy these fucking movies. They're awesome. I highly recommend them, and yeah, Mood616, thanks, thanks for watching, and subscribe and leave comments if you know anything about these films or if you're a big, huge-ass Gene Roland fan like I am, so... Anyways, 